are talking basketball as North was looking to join the Rancho Verde atop the Inland Valley League standings. I'm Pep Fernandez and this is the HS Game Time Roundup. We'll also have hoop highlights from the Southwestern League, but we start with the Huskies hooking up with the Mustangs. North lost to the Rancho Verde 55-52 during their first go-round in league action. First quarter on Friday night, the Mustangs' Andrew Bornis dishes to Khalil Fuller, let the big dog eat. Fuller lays it in. Then it's Jalen Hall to Agent Zero. Kendall Gosley for the finger roll. Then back the other way, the Huskies, Deshaun Taylor finds his spot from the top of the arc. Grab your umbrella and let it rain. Taylor cans the three ball. The Mustangs would match the three when Agent Zero, Gosley buries the tray. The Rancho Verde down by one. Then it's Trey Nottingham shaking off his defenders and sinks the baseline jumper. To the second quarter, Mustangs with the ball. Taylor with the steal, and what you gonna do with all that dunk? Taylor throws it down. We all know Taylor can knock down the threes, but he was also playing some lockdown defense, leading to another slam dunk. Goodness, Taylor dropped 31 on the Mustangs. Still in the second quarter, Dorian Butler spots up from deep, nails the triple. The Mustangs would answer with a three of their own before the half. Isaiah Duffy, the three ball, but the Rancho Verde trailed at the break, 23 to 21. Third quarter, the Ohio State commit Marcus Baugh gets it cracking. The football star lays it in and then later takes the pass and sinks the jumper. Huskies on top, 31 to 23. Baugh continuing to lead North's third quarter surge, gets to the cup. Huskies up 38 to 29 after three. Fourth quarter, the Mustangs, Lance Jones doing his best to keep his team in it. The hoop and the harm for Jones. Fourth quarter, North looking to protect their lead. Dikembe Martin dishes to Baugh for the basket. And then it's Baugh to Taylor who spins and slips through the defense with a layup. North wins 57 to 49. They join the Rancho Verde atop the Inland Valley League standings. I feel like, I feel like um, we didn't play our best the first game. I only shot like five shots. My teammates, my teammates wanted me to shoot the ball. I was trying to feed the, I was trying to feed the big man a lot. So this game, I fed, fed my big man shot more, and we won. We played a lot better today. Uh, we executed a lot better than we did the first time. Uh, we made our shots and uh, just came out and played like a team. Check out the upcoming Monday morning pep rally show for more on North and Coach Mike Barty's pursuit of 600 career wins. Now it's on to the Southwestern League. First place, Great Oak at home for Chaparral. Early in this one, the Wolfpack's Justin Sadler battling on the boards, gets the follow-up. Then later, it's Latrell Franklin cutting to the cup. Here comes Franklin. He went for 19 as Great Oak wins 55 to 45. The pack owns a one game lead on Murrieta Mesa and Murrieta Valley for the top spot in the Southwestern League. Now it's girls soccer from the Southwestern League. Shell Robertson once again providing HS game time with the video highlights. You're the man, Shell. First half, Murrieta Mesa takes the early lead, scoring off the corner kick. Later in the first half, Tomeka Lavalley levels the game at one when Darla Guajardo nets the tying goal, making it 1-1 at the half. Second half, nine minutes to play in this one. The Golden Bears with a corner kick, and it's Sydney Magnin scoring the winning goal off the header. Tomeka Lavalley wins 2-1, and they have a huge match with Great Oak looming on Wednesday. I'm Pep Fernandez with the HS Game Time Roundup.